One of the biggest trends on runways this season were bright pops of color on lips everywhere. And so I think a lot of Asian girls think that when they do their makeup that they can't wear those, the trends that all the other girls are wearing because they aren't specific to them. So I'm going to take that trend and I'm going to apply it to this beautiful Asian girl, woman, girl, um, and, and give her that one of that, that, that fun trend. Okay, So we're going to do a bright lip because I think on her olive skin, which is so beautiful, a fuchsia lip always looks good. And a sheer bright pink lip was really in for the season. Now with that, because it is going to be the bright, bright, bright color that it's going to be, I'm going to do a very, very sheer eye with lots and lots of lashes. And that's really where she'll get her pop from her eyes. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is do some brows. Brush them into place. Let's do some defining. Now, Ashley will be growing her brows back. But until then, I have to make, sh look, make it look like they exist. But this way she'll know how to shape them once they grow back. She's obviously over tweezed her brows. And it's not just a mistake that Asian women make. It's a mistake that all women make. And Ashley wanted hers to have a higher arch. And so she dug up into them and over when she should have done a more subtle shaping. So I'm just going to drop back on. A little short feather hair like strokes with the pencil first. Filling in. Going back with number one angled stiff brush. Blending it out. Now you'll notice that my pencil's not very dark because when adding it back on, I'm going to use a little bit lighter pencil and a little bit darker powder. I'm going to take my brow powder, go back over it. Now I'm using a little bit darker of a powder so that it really fills it in correctly. You can see how much better that brow is, the shape that it's supposed to be. Okay, now I want a sheer nude eye, but I still want it to have dimension and not a lot of color. So I'm only going to add cream right along the lash line, the very, very lid next to the lit lash line, so that when I apply her highlight shade pretty much all over her eye, it will be more dramatic where I've applied the cream than it is everywhere else. Using my number 22 brush, taking that cream, just mu using a matte flesh color. This would be a good time to say something about using eye makeup. <laughs> now, using that same brush, my brush number 22, I'm going to take a little bit of matte, a little bit of shimmer, and I'm just going to put it over our whole lid. And you're going to notice that where 
I applied the cream. It's a little more highlighted than the rest. Now I am going to do a pretty heavy lash line with lots of lashes to give her definition. We got me, Ashley. And see, look straight ahead. Can you see how the lid is so much more dramatically highlighted? It starts to give it dimension without any color. Now I'm going to curl and do a layer of mascara so I can kind of see what's going on. Look down for me. Curling your lashes is so important for an Asian eye because your lid is already hooded and it really helps open the eye up. So I'm even using a little detailed precision curler, look down over that way, to get the corners. Because you know what? Most eyelash curlers are not shaped completely correctly for an Asian eye. So having the detailed curler helps you get those lashes that you didn't reach with a normal curler. Okay, look down. Okay, now I'm going to push a little color into the lash line, just with a tiny bit of definition. Open and look down. Using my number 41 brush, just taking a little bit of dark shadow. The important thing with an Asian eye also is you've got to have definition right at the lash line because without that definition, it doesn't define the eye and open it up as much. So the more hooded you are, the more this technique is helpful because you can get that definition without where it shows rather than it not showing. Look up for me. I should have done doll lashes on her with her big eyes, yeah. Look up. Okay, so we're just putting foundation on the bottom half of her face now. Now we're going to do a little concealer. Look up. Now we want to keep this eye really, really bare. I am going to add a little bit of highlight along the lower lash line. Look up for me. This is actually a trend that you saw on all the runways as well. Kind of her eye is different from the pop of color. Um, and it was done on a lot of Asian girls because um, Chanel booked a lot of Asian girls in their show this year with a silvery white eye, which is, has very, very little color to it, just a nice silvery sheen. And that's so good for an Asian eye. They can pull it off so well. But the trick of the cream really helps add dimension to it without it just looking like you just put a sparkly powder all over the lid. It sh shows some dimension. Okay, look up. Now it's no big deal. I just have to get used to it. Now I'm powdering underneath her eye to set it. 
Now I do want a little flush to her cheek because I think with this look it's really beautiful, but not a lot of color. So I'm going to take a really soft cream blush and my number 64 brush. Number 64 brush. Smile for me. And just lightly flush her cheeks. Blend it out. Then we're going to powder. Cancel the rest of the models. I'll just paint Ashley over and over again. Well, she actually has my favorite eye shape, just slightly hooded. And flawless skin. And then we're going to just lightly powder with my number 73 brush to set that cream blush and the rest of her foundation. Now I'm going to take a little bit of that same sparkly shimmer powder and my number 22 brush. Nope, sorry. I'm going to take that same sparkly powder and my number 14 brush. Look up for me. And I'm going to add some sparkle right along the lash line, mainly the inside corner. Look down for me. There you go. Now I'm going to do another layer of mascara. So finish putting on a layer of that mascara. Now we're going to do a bright, sheer pink lip. Now luckily, Ashley already has a lot of color to her lip, and because we're doing a bright lip, I'm not going to conceal it away. Actually, she has pretty perfect lips. Must be rough being you, but somebody's got to do it, right? Okay. Taking a pink lip liner, because everything on the runways this season was sheer, so you're not grounding the edge of the lip, and we're going to fill in. the lip. And with Asian women and their lips, their lips are always usually nice and full, so they can take a lot of color. And I think against the brown eyes, the pink lips look really pretty. So Ashley's not aware to, uh, allowed to wear colored contacts ever. That's a rule I've just instated. Your mother's going to personally call me if you ask for colored contacts. <laughs> now I'm going to take a pink lipstick, something nice and bright.
Okay, so here we've done the bright lip from Donna Karen and YSL with the Chanel and Ralph Lauren eye to give you a fashion baby. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit more color. Smile for me on the cheek to kind of, with my brush number 73. And I left the lip with no, sh no gloss because on the runways that's the way it was. All right, let's, we're going to take our hair down and we'll bring it right back.